I have somewhat thick divides between my hardwood planks. Did the installers do something wrong or is this normal? I think you're talking about thick cracks between your hardwood boards. Um, the, that's, that's a tough question. Um, it, when a hardwood floor is installed, it's always recommended that you acclimate it. But that's not the whole story. You have to acclimate. One of our, one of our later questions asked, do I have to have my, my AC unit installed before I put in hardwood flooring? If we're truly you know, educating you on, on how you should deal with this, when you, put, when you acclimate hardwood flooring, you should only acclimate it if it's going to be the same environment that you're going to live in in the future. If you don't have heat and air installed and it's been raining for three weeks outside, as it does here in the south so frequently, the moisture levels in the house are going to be high. And we, we see this a lot during new construction. So if you carry hardwood flooring in, especially a solid, and you acclimate it to those conditions, the wood's going to swell. Um, and it can swell quite a bit. So then if you nailed down that wet floor, turn the air conditioner on, it sucks all the water out, your boards shrink, you're going to have cracks between every board that you can throw a cat through. Okay, that's a problem. But you acclimated it. That's why it's so important that we use moisture meters, okay? When you're, when you're doing an install, before the hardwood is ever carried into the house, moisture readings should be taken. Really, one, one reading for every 100 square foot in the house. Do the whole house. See if there's any high readings. Is there a high reading because there's some standing water in the crawl space? Or because a window or door was left over, open and that section got wet? Or just because it's raining and the whole house is full of water? You have to get those moisture levels down. And, and we've done some videos about what those readings need to be. But as a general rule, if you're using a three and a quarter floor, the reading needs to be within 5% of what your hardwood floor is. Really, it needs to be under 12%. Um, but it's extremely important. So, but then you can, we also have floors that when you get them too dry, especially if you use wood heat and, and are using a pine plank or a wide plank, in the winter your house gets really dry, you can have cracks even though everything was done correctly. Uh, pine floors are terrible for that because they're, they're so wide and, and they're not a very dense floor so that they have the ability to contract and, and make it very apparent. Yeah. You think Good that? Answer. Thank you. Thank you, brother.